Hi guys, so you know that ISRO exam is going to be conducted on 17th of December 2023 and you know we are already having some sessions around it like mock test and etc. But uh, you know, let me tell you that it's less than 25 days left and what should be your main target area? There will be several students who have not completed the syllabus but still want to announce and the reason maybe some students not completed the syllabus is date was not being announced. Okay, the notification came up in May but we kept telling you that, you know, if notification is there, okay, exam will be conducted and yes, it is 17 December, they have announced the exam date. Okay, so in case if you think that, you know, you need to, you need some areas to focus more so that you get more and more command on that so that you score more and more in the particular examination or at the same time there may be students might have completed the syllabus okay but it's end game revision and you know revision also should be strategic the target areas of revision should be more where more weightage is given in the exam okay so as per the previous five to six papers conducted by ISRO okay what are the top five subjects to focus Okay, again, I repeat, if your syllabus is done, so then your focus on these top five subjects is more on revision. If your syllabus is by chance not completed, then your target should be first focus, you know, and try to complete maximum areas of this particular subject so that you, you know, uh, utilize more and more, uh, uh, you know, you score more and more in this particular examination, right? So let's get moving ahead and let's get talking about these five subjects, okay? Before I talk about those five subjects, just slightly let me tell you, okay, because ISRO doesn't officially release the syllabus. So what are the subjects that an EC aspirant, uh, you know, should study because officially syllabus is not announced. Okay, it's, you know, we, we just have concluded the subjects based on the previous uh, years. Okay, so, you know, the basic subjects of GATE are there. Okay, network, control, signal, digital, EDC, analog, electromagnetics, communication. Now, all this is what you study in the gate as well. But then there are some extra areas like advanced communication, microwave, material science, measurement, power electronics, engineering, mathematics. Let me tell you that in case you have very less time left, okay, there are two or three subjects which you can skip if you have not at all studied. What are the subjects that you can skip from here? Measurement, power electronics and material science. Because they don't come every year and if they come one, two marks or maximum three marks. Okay, well, three questions I want to say, right? So material science, measurement, power electronics, sometimes they will ask, okay, one question here, two question. Measurement also two to three question. Material science also not every time. Measurement almost every time, but not much, two to three question. Material science and power electronics, by chance they ask on one or two questions. So in case if you feel you have time crunch, at least these three you can skip. Okay, at least these three you can skip. Okay, maths also very less weightage for EC. They ask two to four questions, but maths syllabus is very similar to what you have done in GATE. So if you are prepared for maths, then you can attempt here also. Okay, now out of this all of, all of these subjects, okay, what are the subjects that you have to target? Okay, because you know, these are the subjects. If I say advanced communication, microwave, material science and measurement. Okay, these are the subjects that you might have still studied with the engineering services. Power electronics to EC walo ne nahi pada hai bilkul. But advanced communication, microwave, material science and measurement, these topics are slightly done with the ESC. Okay, and math, math is also gate. This maths is also the gate portion. Okay, now top five subjects as per the weightage analysis and number one, okay, you will feel happy to see digital electronics on the list because it is normally not a challenging subject. It is, students can easily be comfortable in these subjects. And as per the last five papers, there have been 12 questions on an average. Okay, I'm talking about number of questions because prior to this year, the weightage was three marks. So if I tell you 36 marks weightage, it will not be justified because this year it is one mark question. So let's talk in terms of number of question. Okay, average 12 questions are coming from digital electronics, including microprocessor. Okay, digital electronics, including microprocessor. Ye likh deta hume. Including the microprocessor 8085. Okay, and here also, you know, you know, what are the areas that you should focus more? Of course, sequential circuit. I mean, questions based on FSM and counters will be focused more data converters. Rest all is easy. Okay, so two, three areas where your focus should be more is, you know, all, all the question variety of counters, then finite state machines and data converters like ADC and DAC. This is the focus karna out of the digital also. Okay, and definitely microprocessor also you have to focus. Moving ahead to the next. The second in the list is electromagnetics. Average around 11 questions in last five papers. Okay, number of questions was still the same in last year, 80 questions. Isse pehle bhi 80 questions aata tha. So only one subject having 11 or 12 questions out of 80 is a big weightage always remember. So 11 questions in last 5 papers. Of course, what are the areas to more focus? Inside also I'll tell you orally. Of course, antennas and the waveguide part. 
okay antennas and the waveguide part to be focused more along with the fundamental wave propagation properties okay you study completely if possible, but these are the areas to focus more. Jahan se zada question aayenge. Antenna, the waveguide portion, and the fundamental plane wave propagation in open dielectrics, all the properties, uh, alpha attenuation constant, phase constant, phase velocity, skin depth, especially conductors. Okay, skin depth of conductors, all this will make important. Okay, next third in the list is analog electronics with average 10 questions in the last five papers. Average 10 questions in the last five papers conducted. Okay, now more common focus here, yours should be OPAMP, of course, undoubtedly, filter-based questions and oscillator-based questions, and at the same time, diode circuits. Okay, and then MOSFETs also are important, but more important, I'm telling OPAMP, okay, and all application of OPAMP, you can have filter-based questions, oscillators, and diode circuits, and then MOSFETs question, definitely. Okay. Now, moving ahead to the next, the next in the list is communication system along with advanced communication. I merge them and if you take them, average 10 questions in last five papers. Okay. Now, from advanced communication, okay, because that is not a part of gate syllabus, what are the topics? I'll tell you two topics, uh, two to three topics which you should definitely focus. Number one uh, is satellite communication. Important, hai. satellite communication se question a sakta hai. Okay, then radars, okay, and then also go for the fibers. Okay, optical fibers. Okay, at least the gate part. And you know, if I talk about gate syllabus, optical fibers are in EMT. Okay, but you know, wherever you keep optical fibers, at least the gate stuff that you study. Okay, radars and satellite communication. Satellite communication being the most important from the advanced communication area. Now you come to communication systems and any number of variety of question can be there. But more commonly from, you know, the frequency modulation, whole of the digital communication is important. Focus more on random process. Okay, Hamming code se questions aata hai yaha pe. Okay, in fact, focus on information theory. So communication, many topics they can keep asking questions. So difficult to define exactly one. But yeah, still matched filter. Jo jo yaad aara hai bata rao, matched filter question, information information theory, okay, random process and frequency modulation. Okay, this to be slightly uh, on the upper side. And fifth in the list is EDC, okay, electronic devices and circuits expected for EC guys. Average eight questions in the last five papers. Okay, so, you know, the focus to area, uh, the area of focus here more is about semiconductor physics, then FETs, especially the MOSFETs, the MOS capacitance part. Okay, the MOS capacitors, all about FETs and the, uh, the basic semiconductor physics. Okay, so these are the top five subjects. Now, if you talk about the network and control, they also has decent weightage around six to seven questions. As any ki se nahi aega, but around six questions you can expect from network control digital as well. Okay. But you can manage easily, okay, because they are also scoring subjects at the same time, especially network and control. Okay, dear. So uh, this was a small video talking about, you know, the top five important subjects that you should focus definitely because time is left. Okay, so your focus should be strategic now because strategy is very important. You capitalize in these last 20, 25 days, you can definitely get a better rank. Okay, and also parallelly aptitude is a separate section. 15 marks is there for 15 questions is there. 20 marks actually, 15 questions. Okay, so that is also an area there definitely can be a rank changer to focus there along with this technical these were the five technical but aptitude also you focus but that will not require much time so don't give much time focus on aptitude but don't spend much time there because you can deal that easily bye bye thank you stay safe and if you like the video do not forget to hit the like button and express in the comment box okay what else you need with respect to the isro like this was about five important subjects for isro any other thing you need with respect to isro please mention in the comment box i'll guide you there thank you